Welcome back to Elsinore. In the last episode, Claudius murdered Polonius by poisoning them, and we watched the whole thing happen inside of the king's chambers. So now Hamlet, Gertrude, and Polonius are dead. There's nothing on my timeline, except this event, which says unlikely, but actually will never happen. Laertes is never going to surprise Brit. Pretty confident about that. And we're almost on Sunday, the last day. I think now I just kind of want to live to the end to see how far I can get and see what happens. I don't have any particular plan at this point in time. There's things I want to do on a next loop through, but I can't do them right now. I hope King Claudius summons me to their chambers again so I can snoop around some more. Yeah, that's about it. I could tell Laertes about the fact that King Claudius murdered our father, but I think that'd be a bad idea because things would go... Uh, well, I'm sure that they would try to murder Claudius or something like that. And then... And then at that point, well... I don't know if that would end up with me getting killed, but... I feel like not stirring the pot too much right now, given how close I am to the end. What's going to be happening in the guardhouse? And wait, the dungeon? I'm sorry, is Laertes actually going to be surprising Brit? Can I tell Laertes something about Brit? No, I literally can't. Oh, wait, what? Everything was dark. Now they're not. Maybe it'll scroll down or something. I don't know. My mother. Um. Oh, I probably should tell Laertes about our mother's death. This could shatter them potentially, but I don't think they would try to murder somebody as a result. Yeah, okay. Laertes. Did you know about mother's death? Did you know what she left behind? Our mother. I knew she was ill, and then she passed. Father told me that. My memory of her is faint at best. Did father also tell you of her time spent in the sanitarium? That King Hamlet forced her into quarantine in the middle of nowhere before she died? What? He did that? Cruel, almost beyond belief. But of course I'd expect nothing less of that man. <laughs> I never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad he's dead. I always knew King Hamlet didn't like us. We always stood out to him. We're not like them, Ophelia. The rest of the Danes, I mean. And we never will be. Don't forget that. But long after they've given in to madness, or love sickness, or fainting over themselves, you and I will still be here fighting. Where are you going now? Something's gonna happen to the docks. I mean, this specifically says will not happen based on current conditions, so is that not what's happening? Hmm. Yeah, so King Hamlet. I don't think I talked about this in the last episode, but we've been learning some disturbing things about King Hamlet. Remember, I think back near the beginning of the game, remember that young Hamlet seemed to love their father? Like, they seemed to think that they were a perfect father? And I don't know, maybe they were a perfect father to little Hamlet, but... It seems like they were a terrible person to other people. To be more specific, it seems they were a fucking racist. And it seems like there was very little spark left between Gertrude and old King Hamlet. Which is one of the reasons I took so much comfort in Claudius. I don't know if it's because Hamlet was... I don't remember if we've already read something about this, but... I don't know if it was because old King Hamlet was terrible to Gertrude, or just... Or just they didn't have an emotional connection, really? Uh, I'm not sure. But Old King Hamlet is definitely not some saint that was murdered by their evil brother? Is King Claudius evil? 
They're a piece of shit. I mean, they murdered our father, poisoned them just because they suspected wrongly that we were trying to kill Claudius. Just because Laertes came back, because we asked them to, because we th were in danger. They murdered their brother. I don't think for any specific reason, as far as I know, other than they wanted power. They're a terrible person. They're they're awful. And old King Hamlet was too. Oh. Oh right, Horatio's shattered. I mix them up with Laertes for a second. Yes, yeah, so Laertes wasn't shattered by that, thankfully. Oh, Bernardo is interviewing Lady Brit again? That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that to happen again until... When did it happen before? Until about here? Like the next day? About noon? Okay, we need to get over there. Please don't miss it. Please don't miss it. Ah, good. Wait, why? Why is Lady Bird out of the cell? It is only by the grace of the Queen's earlier orders to me that we perform this execution here and not out in public. Oh. I cannot pretend to have sympathy for you otherwise. I never thought you capable of this. And Lady Ophelia, my apologies that you came to witness something like this. I must warn you, it is unpleasant work, though necessary. Yes. I understand, Bernardo. Thank you. On your knees, Lady Brit. Lady Birgitta Brockenhus. You are hereby sentenced to die for the crime of highest treason against the Danish crown. You have passed correspondence directly with the head of an enemy state. And so I have. Let this be a warning to all who threaten the sanctity of the body of Denmark. May they meet the same fate. Please. Please, Bernardo. Will you do me one kindness? Will you write my mother? Will you tell her I love her, now and forever? Kindness is a virtue not normally afforded to traitors. But yes, I will promise you that one small thing. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, the both of you. And get on with it. Ah, I'm glad we didn't have to see it. Lady Brit dies. Okay, Bernardo, you can put that away. You're scaring me a bit. Laertes, what are you doing down at the docks? Are you leaving? Uh, let's go. No, no, what? Go. Must have accidentally clicked somewhere. Clementine! Delicious. Oh, they're down there because of the shack. They wanted to look at the shack themselves. Hmm. Ophelia. The shack is already open. Oh. Yes, so it is. I... I don't think I can go in there. I'll leave you to it. Uh, I mean, I've already been in there. But, okay, we'll go in there again if you want. We've already read this. Still hard to believe even now. I still need to see if I can find Simona. She must know something more. Yep, nothing else in here. Okay. Should I tell Laertes about time repeating itself? Sure. If anybody would believe me. Other than, like, Quince or the ghost, it would be them. What? Time... time is going back and forth in a strange way. Oh, hell, sister. Have you been drinking? No! 
I'm telling the truth. Hmm. Laertes now believes that Ophelia believes that Ophelia is stuck in a time loop. Now Laertes now believes that Ophelia is losing her mind. Okay, great. <laughs> Just wait for an event to happen, I guess. Whoa, why am I inside of Irma? Oh, I just saw something pop up for just the tiniest second here on the walls. Was that the spirit? Like, does the spirit show up there every day? Should I be going there every day? Perhaps. Such a brief amount of time, you'd practically have to be waiting there for them. Things suddenly sound very grim. Something, something happening? What is this? My lady. Yes. yes. Sorry, I'm sorry to Ophelia. be the one to tell you this. What? What now? Your father is dead. Oh. Right, they hadn't announced that yet. Nobody had discovered the body. I guess. Well, no, they... No, they did discover the body. Right, King Claudius called, you know called for fake help feigning ignorance about what happened right after they collapsed and the guard came in there was an incident involving his majesty uh, my lady if there's anything I can do no Bernardo that's quite alright I'll see him again soon enough I can only hope so <laughs> may we all be reunited in heaven not what I mean Bernardo but uh, heaven, of course. Your brother has already been informed. You should go to him. My father. There was something he wanted me to have. A key to the chest in his room. Ah, yes. We did find something like that. It's yours now. The least I can do, my lady. I'm truly sorry, Ophelia. But now I must inform the rest of the castle. Listen to the announcement. No. I'd rather be alone right now. I want to use this key before I lose the opportunity. What is in your damn chest? It's unlockable now. It's empty. Nothing but ashes. Oh, fuck. They already burned him. Damn it. I can never remember exactly what triggers them to burn it or whether they burned it in this timeline. <sighs> I've often heard him open and close it in the evenings. I know he had something in here, but I'm too late. What does the journal entry say? In Leeds. The spirit says my father is... Wait. Ah, uh, these are the same notes that father will burn Thursday evening in his chambers. I have to find a way to stop them from being destroyed. Thursday evening. Whoops. Thursday evening. So that happens on the first day. Huh. How could I prevent that? Like, if I tell Polonius, I don't know, what's in the chest, or don't burn them, or whatever, I think they would just get more freaked out and want to burn them even more. I don't think that would do a damn thing. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I can't do anything about it right now. Not a very eventful day so far. Whoa. Hi. Remember, this is the last day. 
Hmm, Laertes might still surprise Brit. Even though Brit's dead? Okay, sure. Oh. Bernardo, Marcellus, and Quinns. What was that sound? The outer gates. Oh no. What? Bernardo, who, who's coming up the bridgeway? No. Marcellus, I believe we have fallen into a trap. Thoughts in bra. He's coming. I can see smoke from the town. <sighs> we have nothing prepared, thanks for the command to disarm. This is to be the end of us. Ah, so this is how it ends for us too, right? I guess Elsinore has really fallen in it. You know, if you don't want to die here, Bernardo, you're a young man. You could get out, get to the docks, have a long, quiet life. You ought to know me better than that. Marcellus. There's something I've never told you before. Is it that you're in love with them? I consider you to be one of the greatest, noblest, most kind-hearted men it has ever been my pleasure to know. Okay, they're definitely gay for each other. Let us swear that whatever happens today, we shall someday raise our cups to one another in heaven. Don't say that yet. The day's not over. Trying to jinx us? Kind of, their, their look kind of reminds me of a, an elf or something. Good afternoon, gentlemen. We come with the utmost goodwill. <laughs> Do you? There's smoke from the town. Really? Do plumes of smoke signal goodwill in your land? We have no tolerance for invaders. Or liars, for that matter. No one further need die today, as long as you submit to the will of my rule. No! Lord, we'd be awful sorry guards if we let you traipse on in and imprison our lord. Never! Denmark will never belong to the likes of you, not if we can help it. So be it. The olive branch was refused. Die then. I assume I'm gonna die too. Useless men that they are, they are no match for our glorious might. Onward. Onward, men, to the seat of power. Slay all who stand in our way. No. Okay, the march towards the castle takes no prisoners. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Treasure your own blood, uh-huh. I have things to do, leave me be Hamlet, fuck off. Lord Fortinbras' invasion is frightening and powerful. Unaffected by internal affairs, his march seems to signal the abrupt end of my timeline. Even if I'm still alive... Th then what is keeping me here? What traps me in these four days? Why must I languish in this hell? It's not fair. None of this is right. There has to be a way out. There has to be. Perhaps doing the spirit's bidding and finding King Hamlet's notes is the way forward. If whatever's in those notes can raise the dead, then they're certainly powerful. We now believe that Fortinbra will invade. Ophelia. Don't think I missed Hamlet. Yep. Right at this first conversation with our father when we come out of our chambers and they see Hamlet leaving. Let's try telling them just some wacky shit, like shit that I, I'm pretty certain would make them think that Ophelia is losing her mind or just make bad things happen. Because I can tell them an incredible amount of stuff. Many of them are really going to stir the pot. More like a tornado in the pot. 
But the thing is, since we're right at the beginning of the game, I can always just reset the timeline, right? Reset loop. So what the hell? I'm trying to think of what I can do to make them not burn the notes today. Let's just try straight up mentioning the notes. Father. What? What? Uh, he hasn't burned them yet in this world. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Don't wear your head over it. Would that make them not burn the notes? Where are you going? You're going to your chain. Are you going to burn them right now? That's what they're doing, right? Burn. <laughs> yes. Okay. So if you do that, they immediately burn them. Father. Let's mention the king's notes, which for some reason apparently are distinct from what my father burned. Even though I'm pretty sure that is what they burned. Um, I know that you have in your possession the journals of King Hamlet. Can I see them? What? I have the... What? How could you know? Please. Never mind that. I need to see them, Father. Please, it's urgent. They're stored and locked in my personal chest, Ophelia. I find it eerie that you would know of such a thing. Mm. I don't know how you learned about them, but they are best left unread. With the court in such a delicate state. I thought no one but I knew of their existence. If that's not true... Then I have some unfinished business to attend to. Okay, so they're going to go burn them immediately also. Father, please don't. Hand them to me. Leave me. Learns about a future event in which Polonius destroys old and dangerous documents. Yes, that event would be happening now. Yes. Can I beat them to the chest? Haha. -ha! Ah, uh, heck. Right, what shall we mention this time? Hmm. Tell them Fortinbra will invade? Yeah, why not? I know for certain that Lord Fortinbra is going to invade, violating the peace treaty. Father! Of course. Of course you do. You're my clever child. I wasn't certain you'd noticed, but I cannot say I'm surprised. Notice? The way the king refuses to listen to me. To any of his advisors, Bernardo included. Both Bernardo and I have been trying to convince my lord for weeks that a coup was on our doorstep. But he won't listen. He's too wrapped up in trying to please the Danish nobility, in making shows of force, in asserting his power. His desire for acknowledgement has left him blind to the tenuous position we're in. King Hamlet would never have misjudged so greatly for so long. Father, if you and I both know Fortinbras will come for us, can't we do something about it? Not without proof. Had we any concrete evidence to show that Fortinbras is lying about his plans to invade the Pollux, we might succeed at convincing Claudius. But to do that, we'd need to know someone connected to Norway. And we haven't anyone like that in Elsinore. Hmm. Maybe we do. Brit. Oh, -ho. is Claudius's paranoia about spies and treason rubbing off on you? Be careful. Careful about that, love. Prince Fortinbras threat. Elsinore comes to a violent end when he and his men storm the castle. But now that I know this is coming, surely there must be something I can do. Apparently Bernardo and Father have been convinced that Fortinbra posed a threat for months, but the king has been reluctant to act. They need more compelling evidence. Some source close to Norway that could give me information. Yeah, so that would be Brit, but I still don't understand. Quince cut out the part where Brit kills me. So does that mean that they don't kill me, but they're still a spy? I mean, I guess, right? They're still here. And the person connected to Norway, as far as I can think, could only possibly be Lady Brit. Yeah, I don't know. Is there anything else I want to tell you? Spy in Elsinore, ghost, my father's murder, what's wrong with Hamlet? The king's poison cache. That could keep my father alive. But that's far in the future. I don't think that matters right now. What does happen if I mention this? Father. Poison! Oh, God above! 
Certainly you must do nothing until such a claim has been verified, dearest. For your own safety and mine. Hmm. But certainly we have to find out whether or not the claim is true, don't we? You always told me we had an obligation to be honest, to be brave. If there's even a chance Claudius might use this poison, mustn't we stop him? Hmm. Drat. And to think, my own child parroting my wisdom back to me. <sighs> Very well. I shall have a look. But I promise nothing. I have an old key from when King Hamlet occupied the room. I don't believe his majesty has changed the locks. I'll slip in when he goes for a stroll and see what I can find. Hell yeah, I was not expecting that to go so well. I was expecting me to have to throw away this timeline. Um, are they going to go into the chambers right now? Yeah, they're going right now. Okay. Excellent. So I don't know about stopping the notes from being burned, but I'm definitely making some serious progress with Fortinbras and the King's Chambers and... And... Let's go stop Laertes from leaving because I want them to talk with Lady Brit to advance the melancholy of Lady Brit quest. God, I hope I'm not too late. I'm not. Whew.